Welcome to Game Creation and today's video we are going to be looking at the logical or object uh, and this is really really important for us to um, make our code a lot easier to read, a lot easier to work with. Um, this won't change any of the functionality that we've introduced uh, in any of our previous videos, uh, especially um, yesterday and the day before. Um, it will run the code exactly the same way but part of your kind of responsibility um, as a coder um, and as a game creator is to keep your code like as simple as you can um, and you've got to do this from the start because what happens and I've, I've been guilty of this plenty of times is that you kind of one gets lazy and one goes right let's just do this as three different functions rather than one um, and that builds up so quickly and what the problem is is that if you want to change something later on you find that you can't just change it in one place, you've got to change it in 10 different places and you always miss one. And then later on when you're testing it, you're like, why is that not working? And you've forgotten to change that thing you changed six months ago in that one special area. Um, so you want to make sure that there's one place uh, where the thing is done and you just create the code in a kind of smart way. And I'm going to show you like what is wrong with this code. So let's go. So I've opened up the same one we've used this week um, and the application runs brilliantly with the keyboard, with the d-pad, with the analog stick and I know me just saying that's not helpful um, without you seeing but I used all three and it works perfectly. Um, but one of the, or the biggest problem is that we've got um, this kind of set direction to write and all this stuff which is brilliant but we've got it three different times. We've got it here, here and here. Okay, So we want to try and trim that down to only have it in one place. So what we're going to do is simply I'm going to pick this first one here and I'm going to insert a OR operator. Now filtered um, you shouldn't use unless you really understand what it does. Essentially filtered and we're not going to go for it in this video because it's not relevant to this but filtered means that if the object in the so if I put a filtered in and I'll just bung this in again. Okay, so if these two were different events and we had an object involved in them, which we kind of do with the player object, um, if this bit is fired and we've got an object A, then the thing, the event here will um, will um, do uh, something to object A and any other objects that aren't in this condition at all, um, in this event at all. If we've got object B here and this fires, it will do um, the thing to object B and anything else that's not in this. But notice object A is in this, so it won't touch object A. So it's really, really niche and it's really um, one of those things that you're like, you will come across it um, and it will be relevant when it's relevant. Um, but it's not relevant for this today, so we don't use that. Instead, we use the logical. Now, logical is a normal kind of or. It's that or that, and that, that's really simple. It's just if that happens or that happens. Now, I'm just going to click and drag this event in there. Perfect. So this says if you click the right arrow and the, the um, tile to the right is movable, that you can actually move into it, or if you click the D-pad right and this is movable. Now, some people get into confusion because they they only put this event once. No, this is not how this works. You have to have this event both times um, for it, for this to work, unfortunately. You could, um, I think you could probably do the same as we've done, is moving is off and have it as an uh, apparent event. Um, but I think that would just get a bit too complicated for this. So repeating that is not as bad. It is pretty bad still, like, but yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to do another or logical and I'm just going to drag this in because then it'd be easier for me to copy and paste this. Although I don't know if the scrolling on this is brilliant. Yeah, just about right. Okay, so that is all the right arrows done. So I can actually just delete these, delete the right direction ones. And let's give it a go. So I'm just going to run. I'm going to click right on the keyboard. I'm going to click down as well so I don't hit that that um, lake. I'm going to hit the D-pad right and hit the analog stick right and it all works perfectly. Um, so I'm just going to repeat that for each of the other ones really. Um, so we're going to insert an OR logical, move this twice, move this in 
and then kind of delete it as I go so I know that I've done it. Drag that in, drag that in again, grab that left one, and just shift it up and move it in there. Okay, next thing, might as well just grab that or logical because it will copy it. Drag that in there. Let's get that one in there. Try and, and delete that as I go. Oops, I didn't delete the other ones. Okay, and then drag that in there. And sometimes you've got to kind of do this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it under the oar. This is why testing is really important because I'm bound to make a mistake somewhere here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So I'm just going to use that as a kind of placeholder. And so I can drag that in to replace it, delete that, don't need that anymore. And finally, get that last one in, like that, and drag that one in there. Um, now I'm just going to delete all of these, we don't need any of these anymore. And that comment is no longer needed because it, we, we're covering the keyboard there, the D-pad there, and then the sticks there. So I don't need that anymore, just delete that. So this is kind of the moment of truth of whether it actually works. So let's try it. Uh, so I'm going to run the application. Okay, so up, down, left, right, perfect. Up, down, left, right, perfect. And in the analog sticks, that was the D-pad, this is the analog stick, up, down, left, right. So it's exactly the same as we got to yesterday. So there's no difference at all. It's still exactly the same thing. But the only difference is that, uh, if we look at the code, the only difference is that um, we've got one place where those things are happening, one place those things are happening, one place those things are happening, and one place those things are happening. I don't particularly like having this repeated three times, so I might have a look at changing that in tomorrow's video. Um, and I don't like there being um, all of this code attached to the right um, conditions I'd rather deal with that separately um, so we've got one place which is saying the player is clicking right um, and I think that that's probably what we'll tackle tomorrow it's just sorting out that kind of last little bit thank you very much for watching this video if you want to see more from us please click subscribe we release videos every single weekday at 7 p.m. UK time thank you